stages of disrepair or uh, like, for example, there's a town in California called Bodie, and they say it's in a state of arrested decay because it's a state park. <laughs> but is is, um, uh, is your town like that? It does it have a mining history that goes back, you know, 150 years. Uh, you know, what what is the deal with where you live? What what happened there to get it to the point where it is today? I think mostly there's not, like, a big history behind it. I just know that, like, in the days, it was a lot of farming lands and, like, a lot of big farms with uh, dairy cows and, plant and like, plantations planting, like, oats, hay, that type of deal. Not so much of mining and stuff. It was more of a farming population. We have older buildings still there that are actually quite fixed up today, like old the old churches, the old schools, and, like, the old post office and an old store. But the people that owned it today actually repaired some of it, so they still have a little bit of history in the older towns that were there before. But, like, for the history and the past of the town, it was mostly a farming town. Yeah, they say that in the article I read that, that there's an old hotel, a school, at a train station as well as and this was the point this was the one I was laughing about and very and numerous houses in varying Canada of decay uh, I think they might want to go back and check that, <laughs> and correct that. that. yeah that, 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 we, that that's an oopsies we digress a little bit here because we're talking primarily about your music and I know that you are relatively new in the business and uh, I'm guessing that you're probably you're probably a little bit beyond your teen years, but I don't think you know you're anywhere near uh, antiques like John and I. Uh, how lo how long have you actually been doing this professionally? Professionally, I started doing my shows when I was about 16 years old. Professionally taking contracts, signing contracts, and doing uh, bigger festivals. Yeah, when I was 16 years old, I started that. And as as someone on the newer end of the scale, I mean, you're not a, a long time seasoned pro. Uh, if from your perspective, how did you deal with this awful period of uh, pandemic that we just went through that shut just about everything down? I honestly found it quite hard because, like, around my hometown and, like, around the surrounding provinces and cities, I was working really hard to get my name out there and my music out there and my show and my brand. So, like, before the COVID and the pandemic hit, I was booked pretty much solid for a summer and really starting to get out there and really get my name out there and starting to do big shows that would get me like noticed in places and further in my music career so then when COVID hit a lot well all, like 100% of them got cancelled so that was a really hard on my music career and like took a hard hit on me and like progressing in my music and in my music career but to stay intact with it is to still like keep my name and myself out there. I was doing my Facebook lives. I was posting like more on my social medias. I also took the time to uh, get better at playing my guitar and be in uh, writing more music, writing on new songs, new melodies. So at least it gave me the time to do that, to create new material and to create new songs. But I'm definitely excited that COVID is starting to kind of get lost so I can uh, oh, start yes. getting out there again and getting back on stage and doing my thing. I think we all are. Now, being from legitimately from a legitimate small town, I mean, we haven't had anyone from a ghost town on the show before, so you already fit our Hall of Fame there. Uh, but being <laughs> legitimately from a small community like that and building, trying to build your career and your territory that you cover, which I'm sure you're planning on expanding even more so as you can. One of the features of the show is we try to help artists in their endeavor to become successful in this business. And to that extent, we even have a, a recurring feature, Rockstar 101, where we bring in experts from the business to talk about what it takes to make it in today's music business. So what I'd like to hear from you, what steps have you taken? What do you think you're the major steps you have taken that have helped you open the door, expand your career, and get those larger gigs that you were mentioning? A big step of it is definitely just putting yourself out there and being wide in the open, not being shy. And a lot of people, they see like small opportunities come your way, and a lot of people will turn down those small opportunities. But at the end of the day, sometimes those small opportunities will give you the biggest opportunities of your life. So, I mean, I would say even if you think it's the smallest opportunity to take it and jump on, or even if you're somewhere and you see someone, try to make that conversation, try to get your name out there, get your music out there, show it to 
anybody, say your name to anybody, even with the smallest conversations, listening to a country song, and someone's like, oh, that's a good song. Say, oh, hey, well, by the way, I'm an artist as well. If you're like, this is my song, go check it out. Check it out to, like, pass it on, tell your friends, tell your family. Just creating those conversations, creating those links, that's definitely a big thing. It's just getting out there, not being shy, really having conversations with people and taking every possible opportunity you can. Very good. I I couldn't have said it better. Uh, very, very well spoken. You obviously have a good grasp of where you are, what you need to do. And so my next question is, when are you going to branch out and come down to the States? Oh, I'm definitely, it's going to happen very soon. I was actually planning on getting my butt down there soon, but then COVID hit me. But my plans sure. are definitely in the works of coming back down and uh, trying to, yeah, start getting some shows out in the States and uh, getting my name out there. That's definitely one of the next things on my, one of the next big things on my schedule. Fantastic. Now, one thing, there's a couple of things I want to mention from our side of the uh, perspective here. Uh, one of the things I have to mention, you do get uh, planning some shows down in the States. Try and keep in mind or, you know, write down in your notebook somewhere that John is down in the Naples, Fort Myers area of Florida, and I'm out in the Phoenix area of Arizona. So if you ever get in those areas, uh, by all means, give us a shout, look us up, let us know, because we would love to pop up and get to meet you, see you in person, and also hear you in person. The other thing I would like to mention is uh, we tell everyone that once you're on our show, you're part of our family, and we'd like to keep track of our family and help you in any way I, you, we can and see where you're going, what you're doing, and how you're growing. One of those things that we have available, one of my social media pages on Facebook, the Facebook page, it's my group's page, the David Bowers Awards, you can post your own your gigs, your writing, uh, where you're at, and, you know, in your career, what you're doing, uh, you know, if you're taking two weeks off to spend with your family, whatever you want to put on there that you want to share with your fans and future fans, we, we take no responsibility for rumors. Now, you're on your own there, but anything you want to put on there that's related to you and your music, feel free to. You do not have to send a press release or anything. You can post it directly to that page and including your show dates, your self-promotion, whatever you want. So keep that in mind. That's there for you to use. That's, that's what it's there for. Oh, wow. Awesome. That's really great news. Thank you for that opportunity and uh, to do that. That's a grand favor. Thank you. That's our pleasure. That's what it's there for, and that's what we're here for to, uh, you know, to help indie artists and uh, and their music. And we love doing it. We've met some wonderful people. I I, I really feel that uh, you're going to fit right in that category completely. And uh, we love having you here. One, another thing we do is we like to give the artists a chance to do some self promotion because we believe self promotion uh, should be first on the list. And again, that's what we're here for, stage for you to promote yourself. So tell the folks where they can find you online, how they can uh, follow you, get your music. And of course, that's the important one, buy the music. So tell them all about how they can find you. Oh, awesome. Well, I, exa I have a Facebook page. It goes by my name, Kimberly Gaby, all my pages. So I have a Facebook page. I have an Instagram page. I also have a website. I also have Twitter, I have a YouTube, and my music, you can find it everywhere. It's all on all major platforms worldwide. And if you don't have a major platform, such as like Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Music, my music is also like located free on YouTube. Fantastic. Great. And listeners, if you do forget any of that and you need to find her, as I always say, Drop me a line, David, at thedavidbowers.com, and I'll be happy to direct you in Kimberly's direction. Now, before we let you go, I want to give you a chance to talk about this next tune, which is your current hit, and it's called Smoke. Tell us about Smoke. Yeah, so Smoke is my latest hit signal that I released. I that's a like really funny story too that actually that song just came to me one day when I was like driving in my car and I just kind of got a melody in my head and as soon as I got home I started writing and I started working with the melody and it popped up I'm actually quite proud well I'm proud of all my songs but I I like smoke I think it's a really good smoke and I think it's an empowering song I'm not sure it's for women but men it's it's a good song to beat to it's a good song to feel empowered by and just feel strong so that's this one of my newest ones I'm pretty proud of and I can tell you are that uh, the fact that you're proud of the music that you're creating and that you're doing so much of it on your own. And uh, that's great. It speaks very well for you. And it also speaks very well for your future. I really believe we're going to be hearing a lot more 
of Kimberly Gaby. Thank you so much for coming by and sharing time with us today, telling us your story. And I want to also mention that I love the fact that so far, your first two releases, you have interesting, funny little stories to go along as backstories to them. I think that's great. It, it just puts, it injects so much more than just the tune into people's memory of you. And the, anything you can do to stay in the people's mind is, is really good for your career. Again, thank you, Kimberly. We look forward to hearing more from you. We look forward to having you back again in the near future. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me about my music and my career and my little hometown. <laughs> Absolutely. And you be sure to keep in touch with us because we want to know what's going on. We want to follow you and watch you grow as an artist. Ladies and gentlemen, her name is Kimberly Gaby, and this is her current hit tune called Smoke. That is smoking. That's Kimberly Gaby from uh, Quebec, Canada. And uh, one of the things we didn't have time to touch on, I wanted to be sure and mention, is a major, a big thing with her is giving back to her community. She does a lot of social work within her community, and we commend her for that. I think uh, I think Canada has another budding star uh, coming up there that we're going to hear a lot more of, don't you, John? Yeah, I like this girl's style, and I think she shows huge potential. And also, more most importantly, uh, the music has a real nice commercial tinge to it. I have to agree with you with On Her Way. I think you're going to be hearing a lot more of Kimberly Gaby. Remember that name. And you heard her right here on the David Bowers Awards. Don't you forget your comments. We always love to hear from you. Send us your notes, your letters, your complaints, even whatever you'd like to tell us. David at thedavidbowers.com. We've got our next guest standing by, so we're going to move on right now, and uh, we're going to give you a tune, and then we're going to talk about the little wretches. This is called All My Friends. Mm-hmm. 